here. This is the Tom Adams Bridge. First bridge in the morning. We just left Lemon Bay. And I'm thinking this is the last bridge until we get to uh, an anchorage that we're heading to that hopefully is very nice. Maybe you can a little bit. It's a car ferry that crosses the uh, ICW, and there's two of them, one on each side of the water, or each side of the waterway, and they're ferrying cars back and forth. At first, we thought it was barge traffic. Now you see interesting stuff coming down here. Okay, this is a swing bridge. And as it turns out, we're trying to do an 1130 opening. I didn't even remember him being here. But uh, there's a, another sailboat ahead of us waiting. But there's another boat. Tide and wind is pushing in this direction. So uh, the sailboats are waiting for him to come through before we go through. Thirty in the afternoon and we're coming into Charlotte Harbor. What little wind there is is on the nose. You can see it's flat calm out there. These are the days where you uh, either bob around like a cork or you motor into the anchorage. So uh, we're motoring along. Well, we're in Pelican Bay. And we thought this is going to be a great anchorage. Actually, the holding is very good. But we came and take a look at what is just aft of us. That's some kind of storm front. It, it forming an arc in the sky behind us. And that is thunder, and I've been watching lightning back there. So it's going to be real interesting to see if we get hit real hard or not. We've got uh, 
about 75 foot of chain out and 5 foot of water and a snubber or line on it. And this one's not going to miss us. <laughs> Last night in the other anchorage in Lemon Bay there was one and I could actually see the rain on the water about a quarter mile away and then it just sort of quit and it missed us. The temperature, the temperature just dropped 10, 15 degrees. I'd say the temperature just dropped by about 20 degrees from, from just a minute ago. Wow. And this camera is now going down below. Well, we like this anchorage for many reasons, but we are leery of it for a few reasons as well. I was sitting down below on our first day, and this fly came below, and I'd be darn, he lit on me and he took a bite of my flesh out and caused me to bleed. Unbelievable. So these flies are vicious. You really have to watch them. Uh, as the last four days that we've been here, that we've been visited by them every day, and they're after blood. Uh, something else that we saw sitting on the boat every day, we must be in a um, snake freeway because we've watched snakes swimming back and forth between the mangroves. We did have a little cove that Rodney showed us where the um, manatees go. And in there we went and we found manatee poop and we kept hanging around and paddling around and looking and we finally found one lonely little manatee. But we got an encounter and that makes me happy. On our way back out, what did we see crossing our path? An alligator. So just so you know, it's definitely a wildlife area. And not one I feel real great swimming in. We like water that we can see into. We've seen all kinds of dramas taking place underwater. We can't really tell what's going on, but, but we sure wish we could see in the water and see the, um, the fish and sea life.